De Indiase ambassade die heeft in het kader van 75 jaar onafhankelijkheid van India 75 bomen geplant op de middenberm van de Jagannath Lachmanstraat. Dat is al enkele maanden terug gebeurd en op deze vrijdag 31 mei 2024 heeft men dan een plakkaat onthuld om dit project, project te bezegelen. Het zijn er verschillende sprekers geweest. Zo hebben we dan gehad de directeur van Openbaar Groen. Verder nog de minister van Bibes, Albert Ramdin. We hebben gehad de Indiase ambassadeur en ook nog de minister van Openbare Werken. This is my last public function as ambassador of India. As I debut my office this afternoon. Suriname has kept me on toes virtually in the last three years. And as you can see today, even the last public function is also organized by the government of Suriname. I am indeed grateful to the Minister, Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Public Affairs for organizing this because when we celebrated the 75th anniversary of Indian, India's independence in August 2022, which is a milestone event for any country, and I am very proud to have been associated as the ambassador for a diplomat itself. It was a very proud moment. And we celebrated 75 different events to coincide with 75th anniversary. One of the events that we did was planting 75 trees, and to which the Ministry of Foreign Affairs readily agreed and supported it, and Ministry of Public Affairs, Public Works, supported with green artery. And the green artery, to, to speak about green artery, of course it is, as the Permanent Secretary mentioned, it, it, it blooms and it, it gives very good, uh, beautiful uh, flowers. Uh, but the most important thing is the green art tree is indigenous to Guy uh, Suriname and Guyana. It's an it's a indigenous tree. That's the most important thing. And as a tree grows, as I see in the last two years, the tree has grown to a certain height and it also symbolizes the growth in our relationship. It has now become a strategic partnership. And as the tree grows, Suriname also will have grown in stature and size, economic as well as its might. With the oil discoveries in another four or five years, adding to your GDP. And definitely when the tree attains in another 10, 15 years, definitely we would see the height of the tree would reflect the height of our relationship. So that is how I see the symbol, symbolism of this event. And I am grateful. We, we, we opened a temporary clock uh, in August uh, 2022 because it was hurriedly done and you have uh, you know, agreed to make it a permanent block and uh, to our request and especially just adjacent to our plot that uh, you have very kindly donated and uh, transferred the title to and it will be a permanent reminder uh, when we our embassy is built and we have that you know these trees are here which, which is symbolic of our uh, growth of our relationship. That is how I see it. And uh, I thank you all for uh, your presence today. And I take it as my farewell also. And uh, I uh, am very touched by your gesture. And uh, uh, it's a family, you know, family. Within the family, we have done everything. And as I uh, depart, uh, it's a farewell within the family. That's how I see it. So thank you very much and we will be in touch as a family again. A uh, couple of months ago we were standing here planting the trees. I see some of them are growing faster than others <laughs> and may have something to do with the capability of the person who planted the tree. I'm sure that one is mine. <laughs> um, I don't recall anymore but rest assured Ambassador, this initiative to plant trees um, on the occasion of 75 years of independence of the Republic of India uh, does a lot of things. You mentioned already the symbolism which it brings. Um, these trees normally grow big 
and tall and strong. And that's how I see the relationship between Suriname and India. Uh, you mentioned already the strategic aspect of it, which has been reaffirmed on many occasions in the past year with several visits. But what will happen also with these trees is two things. One is it will be a permanent marker um, and remembrance of your stay in Suriname, personally, but also of India's presence in Suriname. Um, two reasons. One is simply because when we get visitors in future to Suriname, or when we drive by this important road, we can always say that's a tree basically from India. But also the fact that your embassy will be located right here will be a permanent element to the site of this tree. And yes, indeed, golden flowers. So it can only be, gold is very important <laughs> in our cultures. So with that, it symbolizes also wealth and prosperity. I can assure you that we will make sure that these trees are replanted if something happens. Um, and then I, I count on the Ministry of uh, Public Works to take care of that. Your departure today ends a career of three years in Suriname with many activities. Um, so I want to thank you for that from the beginning till today, a couple of hours before you leave. You have contributed meaningfully and purposefully to strengthening the relations not only, but also improving our own conditions. In very difficult times, from COVID-19 to the structural reform program, the support which is being considered currently will help a lot of people in the country in terms of food and so on. So this is not the end. That's what I want to say. Your part of the contribution is recognized, is welcomed, is appreciated. And I hope you take that message as a message from all of us here. Uh, you have worked with all parts of the society. Um, the ethnicities, the different sectors, the different regions. You have visited all the regions in the country. So with that, you were a true representative of the Republic of India. Now, in terms of the relationship between India and Suriname, um, and more so the developments in India as the largest democracy in the world, which is not completed as yet, um, I think can only benefit our own society. As an example, in the first place, but also in terms of the values, large and old civilizations. In some instances, you, can, you are allowed to speak about old, not always, but in terms of the civilization of India, which brings a lot of uh, fundamental, truthful, simple wisdom, is very important. So we can only benefit from that in terms of also building our own society. The issue of India moving forward as a modernized country, which is the goal of President Prime Minister Modi to become part of that global arena, we can see that day by day. And I'm not going to repeat all the features and all the special elements to that, but it is clear that India will become very quick the second, third largest economy in the world. So having a great relationship with the second and large and third really, uh, country in the world can only benefit us. And what I appreciate is what I have seen recently is, albeit in a careful manner, the role India wants to play on the global political stage. And we need that as well. We need that as well at the moment, especially at this point where there's so much division in the world where the international community is a little bit on a discourse um, 
and somewhat confused or anxious. We need stability. We need solid leadership. We need progress in a peaceful manner. And I think India can provide that as well. So I'm not the one to encourage, but from a perspective of small countries like ours, India's role in global politics in terms of a strong multilateral system, the United Nations um, will grow, undoubtedly. And we want to make sure that we, on the basis of that strategic partnership, share on a regular basis, as we did in December, during the dinner with Minister of External Affairs, uh, Dr. Subramanian J. Shankar, some of these issues so that we can uh, share perspectives and support each other. So this is a wider point I'm making about, about your role here and India's relationship and the planting of the trees. So I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and we hope that uh, as time comes and goes we certainly see you back in Suriname. Thank you very much and I wish to thank all for this moment. The unveiling of the plaque is a more physical uh, reminder of your work here and coincidental on the last day of your tour. So your successor, I wish you all the best. Embassies, embassies were known as as a pick-off office of FISA. That is what it was known. But in the last years, and there were some embassies that were going beyond that topic. And that those are, for example, the ambassador of India, China, Netherlands, etc. And we know the ambassador of India, for example, not only for the performance, but one of the things, if you refer to that embassy, is, for example, the cultural events. And that has been there for many years. And you, in particular, have shown to go much further beyond the borders of the work that an embassy has to do. And that is very good. That is what we appreciate. And that's why we have made a lot of friends. And I heard yesterday you are even married to Sir. <laughs> so I uh, suggest that we keep stay in contact, continue with the good work. And as the director said, Mr. Kinder Gangabizun, we have also launched for all Suriname to continue with planting trees. The one million, pro uh, one million planting trees project has been launched so that we are sure that everyone is involved in this very important project. So on behalf of the Ministry of uh, Public Works, we had a good relationship. We have also some projects supported by your uh, embassy, your uh, India. We hope that other ministries also use these opportunities. We would like to thank you, and also on behalf of other ministries that cannot be here present to thank you. And we hope that uh, the Embassy of India in Suriname will continue with this very special way of working in Suriname uh, for everyone. So again, many thanks, and um, I wish you the best.